Hello, and yes, I do feel as bad as I look. <laughs> I, uh, I'm really struggling with allergies the last two days. I finally broke down like an hour ago and went to Target and bought some Sudafedrin with the hopes that it'll provide me some kind of relief and allow me to breathe out of this orifice instead of just my mouth. So uh, if you can't, if my face is red, it's because it is raw. If it's shiny, it's because I'm having to put Vaseline on my nose because it's cracking. If you also have ever had allergies, I, you can feel me. My allergies have not been this bad in years. So to be fully transparent with you, it was either there was going to be no video today or an easy video today. So we're doing easy video today. So Anfisa from Porn Earth Home here on YouTube uh, has decided to uh, quit reselling to focus on her homesteading. And so she did like a fire auction of all of her stuff that she had on eBay and I've picked up some of them. And I'm excited to see what they actually look like in person. And then Robert uh, and his wife Danielle were kind enough to send me another box of stuff. I think he said that these are samples. Um, and instead of them sending it back to Canada, they just sent them to me. So I, I actually don't know what's in the second box, but I do know it's in the first box. So let's see the surprise. Uh, for last and open this up. I'm very excited. I was only able to score um, three pieces from Anfisa's fire sale. I did bid on a lot of stuff, but it was all vintage and antique stuff that I bid on because of course it was. <laughs> but I'm very excited. There's one, there's, there are two pieces I'm very excited about. One piece that I'm just interested in listing for myself because I know it'll sell. I think in total, including shipping to me, it's $30. So that means I paid $10 a piece for these. If you want to all in shipping and stuff. Oh my God. This is pretty. Oh my God. So this is a vintage Jack Winter mustard yellow jacket double breasted pea coat i think this is a pea coat yeah i think this would be classified as a pea coat oh my it is fully double breasted and it is made out of wool 100 percent wool this is a very vibrant color i'm trying to unbutton everything it definitely needs to be washed it smells like someone's cologne which is fine so i don't know uh I mean, it kind of fits. It doesn't really fit around my butt because my butt's too big. Mm, I feel like this is a men's jacket. I, f I will have to see what it looks like on the hanger, but I'm pretty sure this is a men's jacket based on how it's cut. Now I have very broad shoulders and this is like an inch too much over here. What size is this? Because if this is a men's jacket, some somebody on Instagram is going to want this for sure. Now, this is a small. How is this a small? That's amazing. All right. I'll have to do some research on that, but this is exciting. Excuse me while I blow my nose. One second. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we have also a dress. This is Mary McFadden. got some pilling on it this is just a oh look at the cute little peplum hem at the bottom what size is this this also smells like cologne probably from being in close quarters with that jacket I don't know what this is made out of this oh no okay there it is it's a linen blend okay so this is a linen blend dress it looks like it might fit me so I can model it. Definitely is going to, oh, this is so cute. Okay, yeah, this might actually fit me. So that will make it easier to sell. Little nice black dress, linen black dress. And then the thing I was most excited to score from her and very surprised that no one else fit on this are two pairs of Ponce Nezes. So I got two Antique pairs of Ponce Nezes. Ooh, what is this? Oh. Is this Bakelite? That would be awesome if it was Bakelite. Hello. 
God, I look like death. It's good because I feel like death. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I am rubbing what I hope to be Bakelite. I still don't know for sure or not because of what I'm about to explain to you. Normally what happens when you rub Bakelite, you heat it up using friction, which is what I'm trying to do right now. It warms it up to enough to the point where you're supposed to smell some kind of like ammonia type of smell. But as I mentioned before, and as I look now, I don't feel good. <laughs> my allergies are really bad. I can't breathe out my nose. I have no idea why I thought I was gonna be able to smell anything <laughs> doing this. But an attempt was made. So in addition, uh, I will talk about later doing the 409 method. If you take a Q-tip and put 409 on it and rub it against Bakelite, it'll turn like a yellow brown color which normally indicates it's Bakelite. There's also separate testers that are way more accurate, but normally the smell and the 409 work enough to where you can say that. So that's what I'm doing. Back to, back to regular still sick Bob. <laughs> I can't tell. I'd have to do the 409 test to see if that's Bakelite or not, but it doesn't appear to be metal. It, it, does, it does have light shining through it and it is a brown, so that might be Bakelite. <laughs> If it's Bakelite, that will be actually excellent. Um, here's one that's rimmed. This one is rimless. This is actually, ooh. So this one is missing one of its nose pads, which would be right here. But you can see here, this is bifocaled. So it has the regular glass and then right here, maybe you can't see. I'm trying to figure out a way for you to tell. Oh look, you can, hi, hi, how are you? It's bifocal down here at the bottom. And this is like a modern wire cord that someone has attached to it. Is it modern? No, I have lied. I have lied to you all. Wow. Ketchum, New York. So this is actually, oh, this is a full chain. <gasps> what? Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Wow. Oh, something interesting you guys might be interested in, in knowing is that if you are someone who wears glasses and would like to do some history bounding or like steampunk cosplay, you can actually take an antique pair of Ponce Nozzes or uh, monocles or galleries and have an optometrist make them. It, it will be a little dear, but uh, it is possible. I know that from, um, Antique Menswear, I think that's his name. There's a history tuber or cause tuber that I watch that gives a lot of great information about uh, antique and vintage menswear. And his stuff is amazing. And so I'm very excited about these and to clean these up and to do a little bit more research with that. I do not need glasses yet, but I am also probably not going to sell these either. So. <laughs> Uh, I probably hold on to these until maybe I do need glasses or if I do some research on them and find out that they're, they're too valuable to keep I might do that too. So that's very exciting. Oh, so cool. And then the thing from Robert and Danielle Which thankfully it just not taped. I can just undo that. Ooh, what's in here? He also doesn't remember what's in it either. So here's uh, Danielle's another guide for her, which is DG Simply Zen, which also is here and here. <laughs> and where else is it in my closet? There's a couple other pieces in here. But yeah, all right, so these must be other samples. Oh my goodness, okay. Um, give me a second. Oh no, it's another, it's, it's got, there's a lot. There's a lot in here. Wow, okay. Oh, this is cool. So he said that this was um, samples. So these are sample swatches. I've never seen this before, but this is very cool. So it's like showing the different sample swatches of fabrics with their percentages of what's in them. That's so cool. 
I've never seen this. I've never designed or clothing, but it's really cool to be able to see this. Oh, look at that. I like this color. That's so cool. Just to kind of see how that works. And then this is a note to them for that. Ooh, okay. So this is stuff that's different than what they sent me before. Oh, that's so cool. I am very excited. <laughs> so here it is, DG Simply Zen. Look at this sweater. It's got like a little camo on the front. And this is uh, a rolled exposed seam. I wonder if this is my size or not. Let's find out. It feels like it might be my size. And it is my size. That's so cool. Oh, I like this. I like this. It's just the right amount of slouchy and the material feels great. <laughs> I, like, I like this a lot. I'm going to wear this for the rest of the time. I do need to wash it because normally manufacturing chemicals are on this and that will make me, I will wear this until uh, my skin tells me to take it off. Well, I'm going to wear this until I try the next thing on. I keep forgetting that there's more stuff. So hold on. Oh, that's so cool. Be so good with sweaters. I love this color. So this is like a brown orange color. Yeah, so these are all small, so they should all fit me. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, and it's got a little button detail at the bottom. Now I will say that it is a small brand, so this is like their second season, I think. Um and it is not size inclusive, which I did not realize at first. Uh, they hopefully they will branch out because I do know several people that wanted to buy pieces that I modeled beforehand, but they didn't come in anything larger than XL. So I hope that that will be changed. I like the color, but the sleeves are too short. Like, but this color is cute. If you were a petite person, this would probably work out well, but I'm not a petite person. It's a little crop too. I like this color though, that sucks. Cause it's it's not quite hitting right to be a three quarter sleeve. I think this is supposed to be a long sleeve top. It's a cool color though. Let's see what else is in here. Oh, I got a, ooh, what is this? Are those pants? Please let they be pants. Please let there be pants. I like, okay, so I'm wearing the Aloy pants right now and I, flip between the Aloy pants and the black uh, Simply Zen pants, the, the black cotton leggings. Those are the two things I switch in between pretty much all winter. And it's been awesome. <laughs> okay, so what is this? This looks like just uh, a long sleeve tee. Really cool. Oh, it's got a high-low. So this is high-low hem where the front is shorter than the back, which is great for those of us that like to wear leggings and don't necessarily want everyone staring at her butt. This is a, I'm probably trying this over the shirt is not helpful, but. This, maybe if I wasn't wearing the shirt, it would work better. Oh, no, nope, it's long enough, the sleeves are fine. Yeah, so this would probably be way more comfortable without the shirt under it. I like this though. Oh my God. <laughs> and it's a good color for me. I love jewel tones. Oh, this is interesting. What an interesting cut. So down here, hold on. I'm gonna stand up so you can see. So like, I was like, does it go in on both sides? And it doesn't, it has a button here and it goes in here. Oh. That's an interesting design choice. So it's like low here and then it goes around and it has this like dart extra of fabric and then it gets longer and then finishes here. It's like an asymmetrical long sleeve t-shirt. I kind of like that. That's interesting and clever. Wow. Okay, that's cool. And I don't really have a whole lot of long sleeve t-shirts. That's great. 
We have something white, which for me is dangerous. PBTR. What is PBTR? Robert, if you or Danielle are watching, what is PBTR? She's very pretty, whoever that is. So this is a white three-quarter sleeve t-shirt. I am not wearing the appropriate bra to wear this, so I will not try this on. And I don't think this would also be very good over my t-shirt. Well, let's do it anyway. Why not? Oh no, this is not, this is not good for my arms. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> Shoulder said no. I was like, if I move too much in this, I'm gonna break it and I don't wanna break it. <laughs> and I think these are pants. They're pants! Oh, they're, they're, they're joggers. All right, hold on. I'm gonna have to try these. Okay. I'm sure they're not supposed to be this snug, but I don't care. They do, ow, actually fit. I just hit my head on the ceiling. They're fit, I've got pants. <laughs> so these will get to join the black hair in uh, frequent rotation. That's so cool. And the side cargo pocket does actually work as a pocket. And again, with the other pair, of, uh, they have deep pockets like Ladies, if you want deep pockets, look at how deep this pocket is. Hold on, can I have some? Okay, so like, this is the size of a, like a tablet and it fits in the pocket. So again, Danielle, I appreciate that so much as a lady who wants pockets in her pants. That's amazing. So have you got new pants? I love it. And then, we have another beautiful gray piece. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, so this is a reverse hem, or a reverse seam. So, I've always found that interesting when designers choose to do um, the seaming and let it show. So, whereas a lot of times people would put the seam inside, they've put it on the outside and made it a feature. That's so cool. Yeah, I'm gonna have to wash these pants because I can already feel my skin burning. Look at it! Oh, this is comfy. Well, uh, this is amazing. Pretty much the only thing that is maybe not something that I would wear would be the white t-shirt because I don't understand what the graphic is on it. And then unfortunately, while I do love this color, the sleeves are too short. So that will not work for me at all. But it's really pretty. <laughs> so that's cool. I'm excited. Thank you, Robert. Thank you, Danielle. That's amazing. I don't know if this video was interesting at all to anyone but myself and maybe Robert and Danielle, but I'm very pleased. So, also, it seems as though the pseudoephedrine I took an hour ago is starting to work because I can breathe out of my nose, which is so nice. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get all of this washed. Uh, except for the pieces that I'm not going to keep. Again, Robert, if you could tell me what the graphic means on the shirt, I would appreciate it. If not, that's cool too. Uh, I'm very excited about the Ponce Nazas. I'm Ponce Nez, Ponce Nez. I'm probably saying that wrong, mostly because I can't form certain words with the way my face is right now. But I'm very excited, and uh, I hope this was entertaining or interesting. And if not, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll try to do better in a couple days with hopefully less allergy. I, I do have a whole box of Sudafedra now, so even if my allergies are bad, I will be able to hopefully function again.
because uh, not being able to really work for the last two days has sucked. I've just kind of like been like <laughs> it's been kind of like that. And it's not cute. And it doesn't feel good. And like the pressure, oh, it's, it's not sexy. Okay, I'll see you guys in a couple days. Uh, until then, bye.